Hey Power Users, my name is Zbigniew Pukowski and today we will be looking at max length validation text input. So we want to achieve something which will be a counter for our text input and when the text input reaches the chosen number, we will want to make this submit comment disabled. So let's, let me grab some text for you from the greatest out of our all time Paolo Coelho and let's put it here let's steal his quote so, and as you can see when we will be reaching the the limit the color changes to, to, to red and the submit comment is is also disabled when we will change it to uh, below our limit, we'll see that the the color here is green and the submit comment is in the edit mode. So, and when it's when nothing is here, we'll just go with the black color and also the submit comment will be visible. So let's look how to achieve this. For now, let's just delete this. First of all, we want to go to on the visible of our screen and create context variable which will be a number max number of characters we want to present to the users so this i want to be creating this from scratch let's go with the comment let's make it bolder let's create the text input to go here, let's make it a little bit bigger and let's make it multi line. Hope oh, so we move to the front. Now we can create the button already. Let's call it submit comment, let's make it bigger. And let's create the label when the magic where the magic will be happening. So here, first of all, in text we want to have this slash. Sorry, I'm on German keyboard and I'm not used to it yet. Okay, and now we will be using the the context variable we created. I won't be changing it now, but you should instead of call it var, call it lock because this is a local variable. So remember to stick to the Microsoft guidelines. And as you can see, we already have the first part of our equation. We have the 100 here. So next thing which we want to do is to use the, the len function, which will be counting length of our text input comma. Text input five, let's change it to text uh, comment. So let's go here and text uh, comment dot. And we want to uh, count, of course, the text, which is in there. We'll be counting this live. This would be changing live, adjusting to our changes. And this character is the concatenation. So this would be concatenation of, of uh, one function, the string, and our variable. As you can see, we are now at 10 characters, which is true, but we want not to use the default text. It's kind of stupid. Let's go to the hint text and please provide and mm -hmm. right the hint text as you can see will be in the different font size we'll notice when we click on this text we will have our counter so our counter is already working great now we want to change the color thing so okay let's change also the pad Adding here, move it to zero, zero. Let's 
up. So let's stick it. Mm -hmm. Maybe three is good. Yeah, let's let's glue it to the comment so you know that this is uh, the comment count. And now we will go with the color. And this is the part where we create the if function. So when we are below uh, above 100 characters, we want to have the red color. So how to achieve this? We will again count the length of our input. Uh, and if this length is uh, higher than the variable what we created, comment max length, then we just want to have the green color. But this is the if function. So if this value is proper, then we have color green. Let's test it. Let's create some length test. Oh, it's not working. I must create something wrong. Oh, of course, it's forgot the dot as I usually do. And I completely blew it here because it shouldn't be green, it should be red. As you can see, when I'm creating live uh, the application, the mistakes can happen. I don't want to cut it in the post production, so you will see that. People create mistakes. It's a normal thing. So we had our first part. As you can see, this is red. It's great. Uh, what we want to do now is to achieve the the green and the black part of the equation. So you need to understand how if is working in in Canvas. So this is the construction if else, if, else, if, else. You can have many nested ifs in the first if. So if the first part of if is true, because this argument, the logical test, will have the results of Boolean, which will be true or false. So if it's true, then the second condition is applied, the condition red, but if it's not true, then we can go to else section. And in the else section, you can have another if. But this if won't, won't be triggered if the color, if the first part is true. So if the color is red, then this function ends and next argument is not even readable. So we can have the another if function. And if this comment length is text the text is more than zero so we have something in the length of the part of the if then we want to make the color green great and else we want to have the color black, just black. So color black. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's close the parentheses. Oh God. Sorry, I have to cut because the courier arrived with a package. Let's go back to the business and we have fully working function. So let's test it. Let's test it. This is black. This is green. And this is red. So the first part of our text input is created. Now we want to disable or enable the submit command based on this length. So we'll be here doing the same thing basically we can copy this and in the display mode 
of this button. Display mode. Let's here we have display mode edit. We will be changing this. What's wrong? Of course, we have no color function, but we have. Now we will be just disabling this. We won't need additional if. We will need two conditions. Now let's do it the end clause. Oh. So if length of text comment text is lower than max length uh, variable we set and it's higher than zero, then we want edit mode. Display mode edit and in the else section of course is able something's wrong sorry what's wrong oh come on what's the problem I need additional parentheses here No. Ah. Interesting. Huh. I need to start additional parentheses. Let's check it. Uh, let's go with the format text function. This is a very useful function. So this parenthesis is open, land text and land text. This is unneeded. Okay. I probably missed some parentheses. This is <laughs> this is basic mistake of mine. But it should be working. So how it will work? Well, length of the text is lower than what we set as uh, comment max length, and the length is there, so it's above zero. Uh, then submit comment should be should be enabled. Else, it's disabled. Now it's disabled because we have too many characters. Now it's enabled because we are in the zone we set, and now now again it's disabled. So. This is how we do it. This is the validation based on the comment. We validate not only the, the max length, but we also validate that when user exceeds this max length, that uh, submit comment is disabled. Of course, there is simple solution, but it's I consider it not always the best UX you can have. Uh, the maximum length of text input can be also set to var comment max length and this will enable us to never exceed the limit but it also when user provides comments it will also cut his comment in the process so basically users are providing comment like this and if it would be cut to max length then everything after this character will be removed. And this is annoying for a lot of users because they want to provide the comment. Then if the comment is too length lengthy, they would they want to just lower the number of characters. But they will, they need to have control on this process, not to cut sentence in half because they want to think how to make this the sentence shorter. This is basically what most of us is, are, are expecting. It's, uh, I've seen that UX on on eBay, on 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 many of auction platforms. But this this is good UX. This is for me. This is the way you should go with the comments. You shouldn't be disallowing users to enter more characters. You should let them think about what they want to to post in the comments. 
So this is how it's working. I hope that the video was entertaining for you. And uh, if it was, you know, you can give me a sub, a like, or you can also check my other content. I've created a lot of uh, videos about power ups and hope we'll see you soon. Have a great day, night, wherever you are, whoever you are. See you.